Hello everyone, this is Oshini Dashupta from Chinta. I wanted to discuss with you a little bit about quadratic residues. It's a very interesting part of number theory, elementary number theory. We will just talk about an introduction to it because very quickly it gets quite complicated. For example, quadratic residues are related to the quadratic reciprocity, which is one of the most interesting theorems. Um, in elementary number theory. Let's talk about it. So, suppose you have a number 6. Okay. Now, if you divide any number n by 6, what are the possible remainders? Well, the possible remainders are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So if you divide any number by 6, you have these 6 possible remainders, right? Now, so in the language of congruence, if you are not f familiar with the theory of congruence, I would suggest you to look in the link in the description. There are some tutorials on that. n is congruent to 0 mod 6, n is congruent to 1 mod 6, and similarly 2 mod 6, 3 mod 6, 4 mod 6, and 5 mod 6. If you don't remember what this means, a number is congruent to something modulo 6 means that the difference of these two numbers is divisible by 6, right? The difference of these two numbers is divisible by 6. Of course, if the remainder is 2, that means the difference of n and 2 is divisible by 6. If you throw away the remainder from the number, then whatever remains is exactly divisible by 6. So, n is gives remainder 2, when divided by 6 is the same thing as saying n is congruent to 2 modulo 6. Okay. Now we take squares on both sides. Squares on both sides. Okay. So what do we get? We get n square is congruent to 0 square modulo 6 or 0 mod 6. Similarly, n square is congruent to 1 mod 6 because 1 square is simply 1. n square is congruent to 4 mod 6 because 2 square is 4. n square is congruent to 9 mod 6. Now, 9, 9 mod 6 is same as 3 mod 6 because if you divide 9 by 6, the remainder is 3. So, n square is congruent to 3 mod 6 n square is congruent to 16 mod 6. So this is congruent to 4 mod 6. So 4 appeared again. And n square is congruent to 25 mod 6, which is congruent to 1 mod 6. Right? Okay, so what we see is that a square number, a square number, is congruent to 0, 1, 4, or 3 modulo 6. So a square number can never be congruent to 5 mod 6. So n square congruent to 5 mod 6 has no solution. Square of no number is congruent to 5 mod 6. That's what we found from our little experiment. So, in other words, 5 is not a quadratic residue. Not a quadratic residue modulo 6. That's how we say it. So, square of no number is congruent to 5 mod 6. So, this particular congruence has no integer solution, right? So, 
that's really the tipping point of creation of many problems in elementary number theory whether it is math olympiad whether it is isi or cmi entrances american mathematics competition whatever you go a lots of problems a lot of problems are designed using these little facts about quadratics what quadratics have no residue and uh, what quadratic residue has is not possible in so and so forth so i'll give you one more example one more example so if you divide any number by 7 if you divide any number by 7 you can get the remainders 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so i'll do this quickly now if you take the square you'll get either 0 0 square is 0 or you get 1 1 square is 1 or you get 2 square which is 4 0 square is 0 or you get 3 square which is 9 which is 9 means it's congruent to 2 mod 7 so that's 2 or you get 4 square which is 16 which is again 2 or you get 5 square which is 25 which means 4 or you get 6 square which is 1 36 which is 1 so the only quadratic residues modulo 7 are 0 0 1 4 and 2 these are the only values that can come up when a square number is divided by 7 only numbers that can come up as remainders okay so these are the quadratic residues quadratic residues mod 7 now let me ask you a question can you find the quadratic residues mod 9 and mod 16 if you can write that down in the comment section there are a bunch of problems which are designed around these quadratic residues and these ideas related to quadratic residues we discuss those quite at length in our isi cmi entrance program in mathematics olympiad program in amc program and so on and so forth for more information go to the links in the description and uh, in the comment section you can suggest me what next video you want me to make thank you for watching these videos and i'll see you in the next one okay bye